My name is George Lemon. I work for Clements Foods. I'm the current president of the Made in Oklahoma Coalition. Through Frank Lucas, we got $75,000 seed money from the USDA. So the first year, that's how we got our money. And so we thought we were rich. Surveys showed 87% of all the people in Oklahoma wanted to support local products. The next question was name some, and we found out people knew about 3% of the products. So we, we set about making people aware. That's our whole program is awareness. And we are now up to the point that about 40% of the people in Oklahoma know multiple Oklahoma products and buy them. It can make such a huge impact if customers, when they walk into the grocery store, that they reach for that local product. You know, when you walk into the grocery store, you expect your favorite brand or product to be there every time. You just expect it there. You don't think about how many people it took to get it there. Mountain View purchases the pork from them and then turns it into hot links and sells it to a grocery store who then sells it to a consumer. That item that was agriculture in Oklahoma quadrupled its value. That was all money spent here in Oklahoma. That was all benefited Oklahoma people. In the last 17 years, it's grown so much. I mean, from like I say, seven companies to now to over 60. I can see it being uh, huge in Oklahoma, and it, it already is huge in Oklahoma. There's a lot of other states that come and want to know how we did this. How did you do, how did you put this together and make this work? And I mean, the Department of Ag helped a lot on it, um, helped us through employees, but it's just been a great thing for us, and I'd like to see it grow or double or triple in the next few years. We knew about the Maine Oklahoma program, and then uh, we found out about the coalition, and it felt like it would be a great, uh, just a great spot for us to get involved. I saw that, you know, these are all people who have a passion for Oklahoma and a passion for products. And it just, it felt just like a natural fit for us to, to come alongside these great companies that are already doing all this work. Smaller companies that may normally not have the budget to participate in food shows and some really big events have the opportunity to do that because of our cost share program that we implement. So say a company doesn't want to spend the $3,000 to have their own booth, they can pay a lot smaller of a fee and be a part of the Made in Oklahoma booth for um, a very, very low cost. And you know, that's, it's, those food shows are a big deal, so it's, it's a really um, great benefit. People didn't know what was made in Oklahoma before we started doing this awareness campaign and uh, it really it really made a big difference. We started making people aware of Oklahoma restaurants. That was really a big turning point um, for people to know that there was a difference in where you go out to eat as well as what you buy on the shelf of a grocery store. When we joined it created opportunity to network with people that were in the same industry to be mentored by those companies and opened a lot of doors of opportunity for us to continue to grow and expand in the Oklahoma uh, market. All of a sudden, Barbara Charlotte gets a call from a new uh, marketing district marketing manager for Walmart and the gal goes, how can we participate in Made in Oklahoma? I'm seeing billboards, I'm seeing newspaper ads, I'm seeing radio or TV commercials. She said, how can we participate? And Barbara didn't miss a beat. She said, well, April is Made in Oklahoma month uh, declared by the governor. Why don't you just display every Made in Oklahoma item that you're carrying for the month of April? And the guy goes, great, send me, a, send me a list and we'll do it. So we pretty much knew we had got the word out when Walmart came to us saying, how can we be involved in this? Last year, our sales of all of our 62 companies exceeded $4.2 billion. That's billion with a B. We have over 60,000 employees, all of which are employed in the state of Oklahoma, all pay taxes. And a lot of this is good because our economy in Oklahoma is not that great. And if, if we can keep people growing in their companies, if we can keep people employed, if we can keep selling things out, because like we told the governors for years and years, when we sell product out of the state of Oklahoma, they tend to mail that check right back here. We deposit it in our bank and we pay state sales tax on it to support the state we live in. I mean, Oklahomans are proud. We're proud to be Oklahomans and it really gives us a way to buy in and like, you know, support our state. So I think having that, um, I think MIO is a tool not only for the members, but for our state and for people to um, really be a, 
supporter of um, their state, their agriculture, their products, and um, just it, it, it makes a really big difference, I think, in um, the lives of Oklahomans, and that's the most important thing to me. Everybody is looking out for each other. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna do whatever I have to to make myself the best. I mean, everybody is trying to profit, but they're also there to help anybody who needs some help or guidance or suggestions along the way. And that's what I think, you know, I think I describe it as a family uh, who wants everybody to succeed. And that's what I feel is so great about the coalition.